Hi guys, this is Alma from Adelta Explorer. In this video, I will show you the Casaloma Mansion. And in Tagalog is Bahay na Luma, or I mean Bahay sa Borod. Muy bonito, ha? Huh? Let's enjoy the vistas! Casaloma is a Gothic Revival style mansion and garden in Toronto. It was constructed from 1911 to 1914. In the early 1990s, Henry Pellet was one of the Canada's richest men. He aimed to build a real castle by the name of Casaloma, or House on the Hill. The house cost about 3.5 million and took 300 workers for three years to build. Around 1919, Sir Henry Pellet and his business partners were expirated without any compensation. To make up these losses, Pellet was facing a major recession. The bank went bankrupt. As a result, turned to the castle to recover their unpaid property taxes. As a consequence, Sir Henry and Lady Mary Pellet had to abandon their dream castle and move to a farm in a king city. At early age, Sir Henry Pellet deceased at the age of 80 and Lady Mary Pellet died at the age of 67. Major General Sir Henry Pellet was a Canadian financier and a soldier in Toronto, Ontario. He married his childhood sweetheart, Mary Dagson, with whom he had one son named Reginald. Lady Pellet later distinguished herself as a first commissioner of the Girl Scouts. <laughs> At present, the city of Toronto still owns Casa Loma. It is a popular spot for weddings and other functions. <music> Side note, Pellet serves as the honorary colonel and was promoted to a major general upon retirement. If you want to visit Casaloma, take an audio tour. You can go downstairs to the basement and pick up one. This castle has a blend of historical memoirs, ghost stories, military secrets, architectural marvels, and Hollywood connections. This is 
the dark side tunnel which tell the story of archival photographs of Toronto's darker days such as Prohibition, the Depression, the Plaque, the Great Toronto Fire and the Toronto's first plane crash. This mansion has a long tunnel leading under the road from the castle connected below Austin Terrace which runs 800 feet. My recommendation is to spend at least 3 to 4 hours exploring, also take advantage of the beautiful flowers and gardens. Casa Loma has muy bonita vistas, a cuento, and it's really gorgeous. It's worth visiting. Please don't forget to thumbs up.